are coming, bringing with them bags of tales. Tail weavers are coming, bringing with them bags of tales. Listening to stories of far and near, musical sounds they fill our ears. Listening to stories of far and near, musical sounds they fill. Tail Weavers from Ontorongo Hello, I am back with another tale. Today I am going to tell you an Assamese folk tale. This folk tale was written by Lokhinat Besbora. Lokhinat Besbora was an Indian poet, novelist and a playwright in, of Assamese modern literature. He also wrote for children. He collected and compiled folk tales of Assam, Hadhu Kotha, and added some of his own to this collection. This particular story is taken from the book Buri I Hadhu. The Monkey and the Fox A monkey and a fox once became friends in hope of getting food from passerby. Now, one day they sat in the forest and suddenly they heard Hey, hey, ya, hey, hey, ya, hey, hey, ya. Friend, can you hear that? People are coming with outside with some food, said the monkey. I'm sure they're carrying milk, sugarcane, and banana. Oh, that's good. Listen, listen, I have a plan to get everything from them, replied the fox. He then whispered a plan into the monkey's ears. Oh, that's an excellent idea, said the monkey. As the people came their way, the fox and the monkey began to howl and screech. Oh my goodness! Me! What's that? The people shouted and threw down all they had with them. The sugar cane, the bananas and the milk pitchers. And quickly they disappeared from there. After the people left, the monkey said, Friend, these people may be back soon to get their food. So what do we do now? Hmm, that's right. But uh, yes, what shall we do now? Where will we take all this? Asked the fox. Listen, listen, I have a good idea. I'll get up on the tree and you pass the food to me and I'll hide it there. I'll eat my share and then send down yours, replied the monkey. Oh, that's a fine idea. Here, take the stuff. The fox passed everything up the tree and the monkey put it safely in the fork of the branches. After arranging all the food on the tree, the monkey began eating. Hey, where's my share? asked the fox. Just wait, my friend. I'm sending you your share, replied the monkey. The monkey ate everything. And then you know what he did? He sent down the banana peels, the empty pitcher and the chewed up pulp of the sugar cane. Hey, you're throwing down the banana peel and the empty milk pitcher? Chewed up pulp of the sugar cane, you wicked creature! The fox shouted out in anger. I'll surely punish him for this, thought the fox. After a few days, the monkey found the fox sitting under a wasp's nest. Now, the monkey couldn't 
recognized the wasp nest. So he asked the fox, What are you doing, friend? Can you see that? That's the king's drum. He has made me the keeper of his drum. So I'm guarding it. The fox replied, Oh, that's good news. Please, would you allow me to beat it once? Begged the monkey. Are you serious? Allow you to touch the king's drum? What are you suggesting? If the king comes to me, I'll be beheaded. Can you not hear the drum beating on its own without it being played? That's the sound the drum was making. The monkey pleaded and begged and he really wanted to beat it just once. The fox then told him, Okay, you go ahead and play it, but softly. He then told him he'd like to go and see if the king is on his way here. So, saying that, he slowly moved out of this place. The monkey saw that the fox was not around. So he took the stick and whack, whack, whack. He beat the wasp's nest. Oh, yes, yes, you are right, you guessed it. What do you think happened? Oh my goodness me, help, help. Oh, please help me. Oh, my dear friend, begged the monkey. But the fox didn't come to help him. He jumped for joy as he was able to punish the monkey for all the banana peels he had thrown down. After a few days, the monkey found the fox sitting near a cluster of wild arum. Kochu? Ask mummy what kochu is. It's a vegetable. He had by now completely forgotten about the incident of the wasp's nest. The monkey asked, Friend, what are you doing now? What are these? Oh, these are the king's sugar cane. This time, he has given me the job to look after these and to guard them, said the fox proudly. What? The king's sugar cane? Oh, then they surely must be tasty. Mm, I would love to taste them. Please give me a small piece, said the monkey. You're suggesting something which is impossible. The king will send me to the guillotine for sure. I'm sorry. I just can't allow you to taste a small bit even, said the fox. Please, friend, I'll eat one quietly. The king won't come to know at all. The monkey again begged the fox. All right, since you want one desperately, eat one. We will see what happens later, said the fox. Hmm, thank you, dear friend. I'll choose a big one then. The monkey replied. The monkey greedily began eating the arum. Ow, ow, it's itching, it's itching. Oh, friend, do something about it. I can't stand it anymore. Ouch, ouch, help, please help. I, I'm dying, I'm dying. The monkey cried out in great discomfort. <laughs> Serves you right. That's the punishment you get for throwing down the empty milk pitchers. The fox responded. After this incident, the monkey was nowhere to be found for few months. Now, after a few months, 
had passed by, the monkey again met the fox. This time, the fox was sitting next to a well which was covered with cobwebs and dried leaves. The monkey asked, Hello friend, what are you doing now? Oh, hello friend, I haven't seen you for a while. Well, as you are aware, the king always entrusts me with special responsibilities. This time, I am guarding his palanquin, replied the fox. Wow, it does look special. It must be very comfortable, no? Can I please sit on it? Please, please, please let me sit on it, the monkey begged. Oh, don't think of it at all. I'll be severely punished. Oh, don't worry. I'll just sit on it and get down in a wink. The king won't come to know about it at all, the monkey said. As the monkey kept on begging, the fox ultimately allowed him to sit on it. All right, before anyone sees you, sit on it for a while, said the fox. Being allowed by the fox, the monkey leapt on the palanquin. And now what do you think happened? Ha ha ha! Yes, the cobwebs gave way and the monkey fell, 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 fell down and down, 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 down into the well. And that was the end of the monkey. I hope you enjoyed the story from the book Buri Air Khadhu. I'll be back again with some more from the same book. Bye-bye.